In my course, Improvisational Leadership at MIT Sloan, I often say to people, in order to succeed, the first thing we have to learn is how to fail. Wow, eyes open wide. It's a radical notion, but really it's not. Our relationship to failure, our fear of failure, the thoughts, all the energy that goes into worrying about saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, often zaps our ability to be present and in the moment and project confidence, which is what leadership really requires. So by helping people face that failure, fear, what we're really doing is expanding their ability to succeed. How do we do that? One of the things we do is help people diminish the fear. It's one thing to identify, well, I am afraid. The next part of the process is to figure out, well, how to make it less, how to make it make less impact on you day to day. Improvisation is a practice like yoga or tai chi, where you learn how to improve these feelings by practicing actual skills, being in the moment, saying yes to the unexpected, having a relationship to the other person where you're trying to make them look good, coming to any moment with the offer, yes, and this is all improvisational skill. And what it does is it diminishes the fear because you're actually practicing over and over again the very thing you're most afraid of and coming to a better outcome. When you actually do what you're most afraid of and you realize you actually survive, it has a way of inoculating you against the fear. The the worst part of the fear is worrying and thinking about the fear. One of the things that is most important is something called high stakes listening, where we listen in improvisations as if our life depends on it. And really, our life does depend on it. The life of the scene, the life of the relationship, the life of the idea depends on whether I'm listening to you rather than thinking about what I'm going to say next. It's listening, adding the all-important ingredient of caring, caring about what you say, making it really matter. Many students, when they first begin improvising, reveal, commonly, the habits that they fall into. We all have what we call a de default habit role. In those default habit roles, we behave when we are in improvisational settings according to our patterns. My job is to coach them to come out of those habits, which are usually limiting and make us tentative, and to find ways to be much more full and expressive, growing edge roles, really, where we stretch our comfort zone and go to new possibilities. Mostly what people have in front of them is their agenda, is their relationship to making mistakes. And in improvisation, we ask, well, what is a mistake? A mistake might be a flub. It could be a missed opportunity. It could be a choice we make that isn't quite the one we want. Improvisation is a training that helps us figure out that what matters is not so much the mistake, but how we handle the mistake, how we rebound from it. Whether we see the next moment as an opportunity to make an even deeper connection with the person, maybe to say you're sorry, maybe to find humor, or maybe don't even mention the mistake, just come back to the next moment equipped with more confidence and spontaneity because through improvisation you've learned, hey, that was then, this is now. What matters is the next moment.